The starting point in succeeding with people is to be agreeable. Be an easy person to get along with. Be pleasant and cheerful and positive rather than argumentative and difficult. Make a habit of nodding and agreeing and going along with what others say, even if it's a little different from what you would say or do. Be relaxed and pleasant and a pleasure to be with. When I was younger, I used to get into arguments with everyone about everything. I was always pointing out the weaknesses in people's positions and identifying the flaws in their arguments. And I was well researched. However, I found myself spending more and more time alone. People began avoiding me. If I went up to a group at a party or a meeting, the members of the group would see me coming and begin dispersing immediately. No one wanted to get into a verbal battle with me, so they avoided conversation with me altogether. I learned a valuable lesson from that. I learned that the most important thing in life is to be effective in your relationships with others, not to be right. A question that has helped me over the years is the question, what's important here? You'll often find that being right or wrong doesn't really matter. If the other person's position is obviously incorrect, they'll figure it out for themselves in no time at all. But a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. You may win the argument, but you can lose the friendship. If you really disagree and you feel that you must say something, protect the self-esteem of the other person by using Benjamin Franklin's method of stating your opinion in a very tentative way. Instead of telling a person that he or she is wrong or misinformed, say something like, I could be wrong, but I had always thought it was this way. If you show that you're open and willing to change your mind, that you're flexible rather than fixed in your ideas, people will enjoy being around you much more and will enjoy discussing different issues with you. Do you know the percentage of new businesses that fail in the first three to five years? According to the experts, approximately 80% of businesses fail within that period of time. However, recently they've been dividing new business startups into two categories. The first category is businesses started by people with five years or more of business experience. And the second category is businesses started by people with no business experience at all. And the statistics turn out to be very different for these groups. Businesses started by people with experience in business have a 90% or better success rate, whereas businesses started by people with no experience have a 99% failure rate. Now, does that make sense? Of course it makes sense. If you don't have any experience, how can you make a business successful? Business is too complicated. Every so often I have people come up to me and say they want to borrow money from the bank to start a business. And I said, well, have you built a successful business before? And they say, no. And I say, well, then there's no banker on earth that's going to lend you any money. The only way that you can borrow from the banks is when you can demonstrate to them that you don't really need it or that you have at least two-to-one asset coverage. Now, the reasons are obvious why people with experience succeed and why people without experience fail. It's the same in life. People with success knowledge and experience succeed and people without it fail. We know that the more successful you are, the more success experiences you have, the more likely it is that you will be successful in other things. We know that the fewer success experiences and the less success knowledge you have, the less likely it is that you'll be successful. Do you know the success rate for an established franchise, one that's been in business for at least five years? Well, according to the experts, it's 70 to 90 percent success rate. McDonald's, for instance, has over 8,600 outlets and they haven't had a failure in 25 years. Now, why should this be? Well, the reason is simple. A franchise is a proven success system. It is a system based on years of trial and error. All you have to do with a franchise is to do what you're told, follow the system, and your success is almost guaranteed. A McDonald's executive told me once that the best franchisees are farmers. Because if farmers come off the farm and into the city and start a franchise, they will do exactly what McDonald's tells them to do. They will not try to improve on the methods or they will not try to shortcut the methods. They will do exactly what they're told to do and they'll do it over and over again. And he said that every single farmer that has ever bought a McDonald's franchise has been extremely successful. Whereas very often, MBAs and people from the universities and people with previous business experiences will buy franchises and they'll try to change the system. Instead of following the success principles, they'll try to change the system and they run into nothing but problems. The principles in this program are like a franchise, a proven success system, based on my 20 years of research and practice, as well as the research and practice of hundreds of the smartest and most successful men and women that America has ever produced. One of the great keys to success is to use proven success methods. Learn from the experts. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Life is too short for that. Surprisingly enough, most people 
either never study success, or if they do, they ignore what they've learned and try to do it all on their own. An amazing fact of human nature is that once we develop a system or an idea or a method that works for us, we have a tendency to discard it and try methods that don't work and then be amazed at our lack of success. Now, this is almost a sure prescription. Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and welcome to the Psychology of Success. For the last 20 years, I've studied successful men and women, successful companies and organizations, and I've practiced some of the success principles we're going to talk about, and they've been extraordinarily helpful to me. And in this program, I've put together what I consider to be the most important single findings on success in all of the history of the subject. Today, more people are becoming successful faster than any other time in human history. Someone somewhere in America becomes a millionaire every 12 minutes. By 1990, one household in every 100 will have a net worth in excess of $1 million. At least 80% of these millionaires are self-made. That is, they started with nothing but ambition and energy, the same way most of us start. Many of them never went to college. Many of them only got average grades in school. Many self-made millionaires started with no advantages at all. Some were orphans. Some were immigrants who couldn't even speak English. Most of them went broke or nearly broke more than once on the way up. Self-made millionaires, Olympic athletes, high achievers in the arts, science, business, and every other field have been studied exhaustively to find out what makes them tick. These type of people have fascinated researchers for years now, and today we have the answers. Today we know more about how to achieve great success in life than ever before. Today, for the first time, imagine this. Success is as predictable as the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. Today, success is a science. It has been broken down and subdivided, and anybody can achieve greater success, wealth, and happiness in life if they will simply do two things. First, make a decision to be successful right now. Most people never decide to be wealthy, and that's why they retire poor. According to actuarial statistics of 100 people working today who reach the age of 65, one will be wealthy, four will be financially independent, 15 will have some savings put aside, and the other 80% will be flat, broke, busted, dependent upon pensions and charity. Only 1% or 2% will ever do really well, and that is in spite of living in one of the most affluent societies in all of human history. And the second requirement, if you want to achieve greater success, is simply this. Learn from the experts. Study successful men and women, and do what they do, and you'll be successful too. It sounds simple, doesn't it? Well, if you want to learn to be a good cook, you study cooking. You don't try to figure it out for yourself. You buy cookbooks, and you take classes and lessons and you learn from the experts. If you want to be an engineer, you go to the university and you study engineering. You learn from other engineers. If you want to be successful, you study success. You become an expert on success. Now, I'm astonished, and I'm always astonished, some of the most important things in life, people think that they're going to learn them by osmosis. I'm always amazed that most parents never read about how to bring up happy, healthy, self-confident children, and they can't understand why they're having problems with their kids. And I'm amazed that many people never read and study communications and human relations and they wonder why they have problems with other people. And I'm always astonished that men and women think about success day and night, and yet very few of them ever read about it, ever study it, ever listen to tapes, ever take courses or seminars. They seem to excuse them by feeling that these are the sort of things that they're going to learn by osmosis. There's just something going to attract them. Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and welcome to the Psychology of Success. For the last 20 years, I've studied successful men and women, successful companies and organizations, and I've practiced some of the success principles we're going to talk about, and they've been extraordinarily helpful to me. And in this program, I've put together what I consider to be the most important single findings on success in all of the history of the subject. Today, more people are becoming successful faster than any other time in human history. Someone somewhere in America becomes a millionaire every 12 minutes. By 1990, one household in every 100 will have a net worth in excess of $1 million. At least 80% of these millionaires are self-made. That is, they started with nothing but ambition and energy, the same way most of us start. Many of them never went to college. Many of them only got average grades in school. Many self-made millionaires started with no advantages at all. Some were orphans. Some were immigrants who couldn't even speak English. Most of them went broke or nearly broke more than once on the way up. Self-made millionaires, Olympic athletes, high achievers in the arts, science, business, and every other field have been studied exhaustively to find out what makes them tick. 
These type of people have fascinated researchers for years now, and today we have the answers. Today we know more about how to achieve great success in life than ever before. Today, for the first time, imagine this. Success is as predictable as the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. Today, success is a science. It has been broken down and subdivided, and anybody can achieve greater success, wealth, and happiness in life if they will simply do two things. First, make a decision to be successful right now. Most people never decide to be wealthy, and that's why they retire poor. According to actuarial statistics of 100 people working today who reach the age of 65, one will be wealthy, four will be financially independent, 15 will have some savings put aside, and the other 80% will be flat, broke, busted, dependent upon pensions and charity. Only one or two percent will ever do really well, and that is in spite of living in one of the most affluent societies in all of human history. And the second requirement, if you want to achieve greater success, is simply this. Learn from the experts. Study successful men and women, and do what they do, and you'll be successful too. It sounds simple, doesn't it? Well, if you want to learn to be a good cook, you study cooking. You don't try to figure it out for yourself. You buy cookbooks, and you take classes and lessons and you learn from the experts. If you want to be an engineer, you go to the university and you study engineering. You learn from other engineers. If you want to be successful, you study success. You become an expert on success. Now, I'm astonished, and I'm always astonished, at some of the most important things in life, people think that they're going to learn them by osmosis. I'm always amazed that most parents never read about how to bring up happy, healthy, self-confident children, and they can't understand why they're having problems with their kids. And I'm amazed that many people never read and study communications and human relations and they wonder why they have problems with other people. And I'm always astonished that men and women think about success day and night, and yet very few of them ever read about it, ever study it, ever listen to tapes, ever take courses or seminars. They seem to excuse them by feeling that these are the sort of things that they're going to learn by osmosis. They're just something going to attract them. If you